Welcome to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. Hi, everybody. We're down here in Arizona seeing our kids, our, our youngest son, our grandkids, of course, our two kids that live down here as well that are married. And uh, yeah, I am, I've got a little extra time and uh, we loaned this car to my son, Josiah. And uh, I looked and I said, oh my goodness, it needs an oil change. So sure enough, that's where I'm at. You can see, <laughs> I'm just waiting in line here, uh, killing some time. But I started thinking about what does the gospel of Jesus have to do with an oil change, right? And we know that there's a lot of people in our culture and society who are just overcome and, and entrenched in atheism, secular humanism, um, whose lives are really kind of a mess and they need a spiritual oil change that doesn't last just for a time because, hey, I'm pulling this in and my car's gonna need another oil change here in about, oh, 5,000 miles, right? But people need a spiritual oil change that won't just last for a time, but for a lifetime, right? This is what it says in the book of Matthew, chapter nine, beginning to read, at verse 35 and Jesus went throughout all the cities and villages teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom of God those people needed an oil change they needed their diseases healed they needed their afflictions taken away they needed to hear about the kingdom of God they needed to hear about the gospel of Jesus they needed an oil change and Jesus could give it my friends Boulder Colorado Denver, Colorado, Arvada, Colorado, Newton, Kansas, Austin, Texas, wherever you're listening to this, people need a radical spiritual oil change and only Jesus gives it. And you and I who know that Jesus is the cleanser of our sins, the savior of our souls, the one who gives eternal life, the carrier of our burdens, the strength in the face of every adversity, we have that spiritual oil change. Thanks be to God we do. But there's people around us who don't. And as I'm at this Valvoline place down here in Queen Creek, Arizona, it reminds me of folks who are changing the spiritual oil of their machine of life with all the stuff that doesn't cause their spiritual engine to run very well, <laughs> right? Well, we know that Jesus is the spiritual oil change we need and people around us need him desperately. Jesus went through the villages, the synagogues, all the cities that he could get into saying, these people need me. They need my presence, peace, power, and authority, my healing. They need the Messiah. My friends, we have him. And people around us need him. I'm serving in a place called Boulder, Colorado, where about 15% of the people in that city go to church on a Sunday morning. None of the churches are blossoming and flourishing except for one, right? And I want our church at Mount Hope Boulder to be part of a revival where people's spiritual oil changes are changed forever. What about you? You want your city to be changed? You want your village to be changed? You want your town to be changed? You want your street to be changed? You want your home to be changed? Jesus is in the business of spiritual oil changes and he will change your life. Maybe he's already done that. I pray so. But oh my goodness, Lord Jesus, let there be a revival in the places where we live, in the places where people are listening to my voice right now. Let it be so, let it be done to the glory of God's holy and saving name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like, comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth.